Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to talk about fabric stretch percentage. If you're sewing a pattern that calls for fabric that has stretch, it's really important to know how much stretch your fabric has and whether that's going to match up with the pattern. For example, if you're sewing a swimsuit or leggings or leotard, you're going to want a lot of stretch because those kind of garments have negative ease, meaning the garment's actually smaller than your body and you need that fabric to stretch in order to get into it and wear it comfortably. So I have learned from experience, from sewing things like leggings, for a big example, where I chose fabric that didn't have enough stretch for the pattern and they were really uncomfortable to get into and sometimes even impossible to put on. So that is basically the number one reason why it's important to check how much stretch your fabric has and then compare that to the pattern recommendations. When I first got started sewing knit fabric, I wasn't really sure what fabric stretch percentage meant. I mean, it's even a little bit hard to say, but over the years, I figured out an easy way to figure out that stretch percentage, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. The only things you need to determine how much stretch a fabric has is your fabric, some sort of ruler, and your hands. For most patterns, you're going to be looking for two-way stretch, which means it stretches along the cross grain. Sometimes, like for leggings or a leotard, you would want fabric that also stretches lengthwise, and that would be four-way stretch fabric. So I know it kind of, it just seems like it's two-way because it stretches this way and this way, but that means it's four ways. A little bit confusing there. Oh, box. Okay. <laughs> So most of your knit fabric will be two-way stretch and that's what you need most of the time for patterns. Let's go ahead and look at this fabric and see how much stretch there is. So what you wanna do is fold it along the crosswise and then in the middle, we're going to pinch four inches and I've marked on my mat four inches using this red tape. So I'm gonna, with my fingers, pinch four inches and then pull it as far as it'll go. So this fabric will go all the way to our yellow dot. And that is three inches larger than our original. So let me write this out for you. So when we're starting with four inches, if we get it to this mark right here, if it stretches to five inches, that means that we have 25% stretch. And the way I like to think of it is you would have four and multiply it by 125% and then that's going to equal five. If you're looking for 50% stretch, then you would take four times 150% and that is going to be six inches. So if your fabric stretches from four to six inches, then you know you have 50% stretch because that means from your original you're getting 50% more than what you started with. So that is why you multiply by 150% because you want everything you started with plus 50%. If you want 25% stretch you're going to multiply by 125% because you want everything you started with plus 25. If you want 75% stretch, it's a little bit rare. This fabric is really pretty stretchy. You would do four times 175% and then that is going to equal seven inches and it would be 75% stretch. Let's take a look at a few other fabrics just to test it out and see how this works. Fabrics are gonna be pretty different with how much stretch they have and you just can't always tell from looking at them. This is kind of a medium weight t-shirt fabric. So again, I'm gonna pinch four inches out. So I'm getting right around in between the 25 and 50. 
So this is probably about 35, 37% stretch. Here I have a sweater knit fabric. Let's see how much stretch it has. We're gonna pinch our four inches and stretch it. Oh, and this one, that's pretty stretchy. It gets almost to the 75%. So I could really make a lot of things with this. Again, this is our crosswise. Let's see what we have lengthwise. Pinch the four inches and you know, it stretches a little bit, but not a lot. It's probably about 12% stretch on the lengthwise. Here I have some swimsuit fabric. So when you're sewing a swimsuit, you'll really want this to stretch both lengthwise and crosswise. Here I folded it crosswise. I'm gonna pinch the four inches and then stretch it. And that gets pretty far. It gets really to 75%. Let's try it this other way. Again, try not to fold on the bias because you won't get an accurate reading. And we'll pinch four inches and then that gets to like 30, 40% stretch. So this is really a pretty good swimsuit fabric. It'll give me a lot of stretch and recovery. Let's try one more. This is kind of a thicker double knit fabric. So I've folded it along the crosswise. You can see the selvage right here. I'm gonna pinch four inches and then stretch and it's getting kind of right in the middle. So maybe 35% stretch on this one. So let's try the lengthwise stretch. Again, pinch four inches and pull it and it's not getting quite to 25%. So there's a little bit of lengthwise stretch, but not very much. Now for the sake of demonstration, let's look at this cotton fabric. This is just a regular old cotton and I'm gonna pinch four inches on the crosswise and it really doesn't stretch very much at all. And if we test our lengthwise stretch, it again, really doesn't pull at all. So you can see fabric won't always have stretch in it and it's really important to test how much stretch there is before you start cutting your fabric and sewing. I hope that this has been helpful for you and that my technique simplifies and demystifies fabric stretch percentage. It's definitely something that you don't wanna skip when you're sewing with a pattern that calls for stretch fabric. If you've never sewn with knits or with stretch fabric, I have a few patterns that could be fun to try out. My Lou box top is a basic t-shirt pattern. Um, that one you need stretch for if you make the crew neck and you're gonna pull it over your head, very important to have stretch. Likewise, my Alley sweatshirt is a great beginner sweatshirt pattern with some really nice design details. I also accidentally made it without stretch once and it didn't really work out that well. Um, so another pattern you need stretch for. And then my latest pattern is the summer sweatsuit. And that one you definitely need some stretch for, for comfort and for getting it on your body. If you're looking for more resources about sewing with knit fabric, I have a ton of blog posts and I even have a video about getting started with knits. I'll put it in here. So check out the show notes for that. And then I have a couple of books that I highly recommend. The first one is Sew You Home Stretch. This one is by Wendy Mullen. I will put a link down in the show notes. This was the first book that really helped me get started and like get over my intimidation of sewing with knit fabric. Another book that I think is amazing for knit fabric is A Beginner's Guide to Sewing with Knitted Fabrics, and this is by Wendy Ward. She has amazing tips for sewing with knits and as well as sewing everything in general. I think she's a fantastic teacher, and I recommend all of her books. Um, this one also comes with a lot of patterns in it, as does Sew You Home Stretch. Um, lots of really great classic patterns that you can use over and over as you learn to sew with knits. I'll put a link to this in the show notes as well. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I release a new video about every one to two weeks. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.